What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Two Guys One Game Pad Game Review Edition. That's right. I finally found another game to play other than Warzone, and at this one is Helldivers 2. I wanted to do a quick review on it as it's a game that I uh, wasn't really looking forward to. I didn't really look anything into it about it or anything. I just saw gameplay on it and decided that uh, to go and give it a shot. And the game, in my opinion, has been fun. A lot of a lot of fun with it. But uh, we'll get into it. We'll break down some stuff, uh, gameplay. Uh, you know, my thoughts on it. Uh, kind of the overall aspect of everything on it, and get into kind of how it's been going and some of the some of the downsides of it that we found as well. Uh, basically, I mean, the, the game is basically Starship Troopers. Um, the, the hands down, you're going, you're fighting bugs. It's as soon as you start the game up, it gives you the uh, campaign showing you, you know, join the join the revolution and everything like that, wanting you to annihilate the bugs. Uh, one of the commanders comes in and is with his family. He watches his family pretty much get killed right in front of him by another bug. And then it's a video that pauses, which is what he was presenting at the time as you go into uh, join to be to be a Helldiver. Uh, and it's, it's just like Starship Troopers. I enjoyed it. It was funny. Uh, it caught me right away. Uh, the the whole, whole way that everybody looks in this game is very well done. The scenes flow very well, uh, very, very well um, articulated as well as just them talking and going through the scenes of everything as well. Um, very bright and everything. Also, just fun watching it leading into, before you can get to actual gameplay, just the lead-up trailer for everything is, was enjoyable. Um, once you get into it, you have obviously your train up. You know, it gives you the tutorial and everything else as you're going through it. Um, working with your, your movement, just like any basic game. Uh, you know, you're shooting, you're moving, uh, changing weapons, using grenades, kind of explaining how it's going to go throughout the entire game. Um, it took me maybe five to ten minutes to get through the tutorial, but the tutorial was was fun. I mean, they kept it, they kept it interactive in a manner of you know, like you're actually going through recruit training uh, in the lead up to becoming the hell diver and everything else. And as you're going through the, the weapons training and the movement training and everything, it does kind of intensify a little bit, but obviously you're going to make it through it. It's not difficult at all. Um, but you get through it and it finally gets to that point where you get your cape to officially become a hell diver and you do your whole salute, which our salute is kind of funny. It's just a, it's just a straight arm in front of you, you know, a bit 90 degrees. Uh, pointing to the air or a fist to the air type uh, and then you know fireworks go off and everything else and it, it just becomes at that point you're you are officially a helldiver and they take you to the ship um, where you're essentially you're frozen cryogenically, cryogenically frozen and then they bring you up to the ship you know once you're once you are ready to be deployed or redeployed they thaw you out and they bring you up to the ship everything else since you're stuck in cryogenic uh, waiting pretty much is all it is but with this with the way you get on the ship the ship is is littered with many different areas that you can go to interact with everything um, it kind of gave me the I'll say the Starfield style of going around the ship now I play this I'm only off, only off gameplay on this one uh, them going around and you're able to interact with multiple things on the ship. Uh, look at your your loadouts that you can that you can build up and um, essentially make whatever you want. Your uniform, your suit, everything else that you can kind of customize in a way of picking what they have. I haven't seen uh, an aspect where you can actually fully customize it with different colors and everything else, but it does get pretty intense with all the stuff that you can acquire um, throughout the game. Uh, I think from your helmet to your cape, your chest piece, you know, upper body, lower body uh, type stuff, including weapons as well. Then you get into going to the missions, and it gets bring you to the mission core, uh, which is kind of like a Star Wars style or big, um, we, we, which would be a sand table, but it's a essentially just a, a big round uh, video board that just brings everything up, but holographic 
look in any way would do in a futuristic style uh, feel. But you start that and you, you pick which, uh, which moon or planet you want to go to. And again, this is in the back of my mind the entire time. It's just like Starship Troopers. You know, which planet are you going to go to to eradicate the bugs and, and help, you know, free it or liberate the, the, the planet to rid of the bugs so it can be inhabited by humans or whoever else or own at that point. And it does give you the progressions of each planet uh, as you're going through it. Now, I started this game doing solo. I tried my best to not, you know, work with anybody else or have anybody else with me because it's one of those games where I wanted to get the full experience of just me by myself, seeing what it is, trying it out. Um, I know that it's a very uh, highly intense multiplayer game and push to be multiplayer, but I was able to go through probably the first four to five levels um, or planets or missions or however to look at it uh, by myself. Uh, doing it by myself was very intense. You have to really get down your uh, your button patterns because there are different button patterns that are taught to you back in the training of how to get resupplies, reinforcements, um, cannon shots from the, from another cannon in, in space, um, and everything else. There's multiple different uh, attributes that you get on top of that to get your resupplies. And as far as I've seen, um, you can get multiple resupplies i have not seen them wear out but again i haven't fully gotten into the game deep enough to see if it does wear out but i think i've gotten up to like three or four resupplies at a time being a solo style mission i was able to get that and uh and it worked out fairly well for me um you can get machine guns once you find it or unlock it uh almost like a uh m60 style machine gun at that at at that point, and then you can, you know, you'll sling it across your back if you're not using it. It's, it's visible there. Um, but getting to pick your planet, you'll pick it, you'll pick it up, and it gives you the percentage of how much is liberated. So you're trying to obviously liberate it to 100%. So you pick the planet, then you go into your, your pod, and once you're in your pod, they essentially shoot you out to the planet. They do a hyper jump to the area, shoot you out of the pod. And the pod, once you're coming down, it's directional. You can kind of move it in a manner of if there's a bug below you you can land on it and kill it um once you hit that you impound to the ground pop out and then it's game time at that point you know you're you're pretty much running and gunning um trying to figure out you know where, where your points are your objective points are um where the bug hives are because you do want to go through and throw grenades in the bug hives so no more bugs are coming up again this is something you see in starship troopers of them eradicating bugs and killing and sealing off the the holes or the tunnels so no more come out but you look at the bugs that you're fighting in this game uh and they do somewhat look like that as well uh but the gameplay of it you have your your pistol and your uh assault rifle that you start off with and you can lead into your machine gun as well but having those two it's fun in the pack you can kill majority of the bugs on the planet with the uh the handgun and the assault rifle without really having any problems it's just basic basic controls like anything else going through and the gameplay of it is everything looks great the gameplay your movement was kind of clunky uh there's no jump button or at least that i haven't found i've matched the buttons trying to find a jump button but i'm not seeing one or finding one um but again i think i was more focused on running and shooting everything else uh but it's, it's kind of clunky to get used to, especially for, for me at least, because all I've done is play Warzone. So doing that and playing just Warzone, I'm used to normal button setup. So trying to switch to a new game and get that is a little difficult, but I do enjoy it the way that the, that the movement is. It doesn't hinder too much. Uh, going around the, the planet, the detail in the planets uh, is, is very well done, very bright. Uh, in some, very foggy in others, sandstorm style in some. Um, the first mission that I ever did, I had, you know, a large amount of bugs, but nothing that I couldn't handle by myself, like I said before, uh, going through and fighting these bugs. was a lot of fun because it's, you're just wasting bugs. You're dumping ammo into them, and you're seeing, you know, bugs, bugs splatter everywhere, you know, essentially the, the bright green blood that they have that's going everywhere and it does if you're in a fight with them very close and you're you know spraying it everywhere it does cover the player so you will run around with 
you know, bug guts and everything else on you uh, going through. And it's, it's another cool aspect of it because that was one thing in the trailer leading up into the game. You know, they're shooting and it does cover them in it as well. And they're kind of joking around having a good time. Like typical military uh, infantry style guys are. You know, they're joking about everything covered in, you know, bug guts and everything else. Enjoying themselves, chest bumping, neck like It's not a big deal. You know, something that they're definitely used to. So going through all that and playing this, you, know, you have your small bugs and your your medium sized bugs that you're gonna fight, but you can get your ass kicked really quick if you're not paying attention. If you do get, you know, surrounded, you're you're going through it and you know, you get you take your damage and everything else, but the way to reheal yourself is you get stems that you'll pretty much stab in your neck and it'll bring your health back up. you you walk around with four stems uh, until you can resupply. But those four stems will give you quite a bit of health back. You can you can make it through some intense battles with four stems and pretty much be okay until you can get your respawn unless you're getting hit quite a bit and you know eat, eating up and everything else. But going through everything else in the missions, I had a hard time trying to figure out kind of where to go because I tried not to rush through anything. I tried to read as much as I could, as much as you all know as I hate reading when it comes to some games, but I I read everything I could, I looked at what I could, but I still had a hard time finding some of the objectives. You know, obviously you can pull them up on your mini map and it tells you where to go. Um, but it does seem like there were some bugs within it when it first came out. Um, and so I was trying to kind of keep up with everything in the flow of the game, and I just pretty much just got kind of killing bugs the entire time. Um, but I found, I found the objectives, I finished the objectives, and then after you finish the objectives, you have to go through and you have to extract. So you have to call in the extraction, similar to uh, DMZ, when you have to extract, and I will compare a lot of this to Warzone because that's the only other game I play. Um, in DMZ, when you call in the, the extract there, you have a, a little bit of a time that you have to you know, secure a landing zone for everything so you, they can come in and get you and whatnot. Um, so you, you do have some hordes of, of bugs that will try and come in and you know, essentially kill you before you can leave. And so it's a, it becomes a really hot zone as the, as the bird's coming in. But once it does come in, it does also start to you know, shoot them and kill them off, helping you out um, so they can clear it themselves and land. But once that lands and you get close to the bird, then it stops and your, your gameplay just kind of ends there, regardless if you have hordes of bugs coming at you or not. And you, you load up and you extract from the planet. Once you get up there, you're, you know, you're going through all your attributes and everything else and whatnot. And this is another screen that you cannot skip. So it seems like it might be uh, another bug or something that they may be changing. I know they've had a lot of updates since uh, since the game came out. It came out uh, roughly a week ago, and this um, it was right now on the 20th of, of February, so I believe it was, was it the 13th, 12th or 13th, I think it came out. Um, no, it was the 7th, actually. No, it's been out for almost two weeks now. Um, so it came out then, and since then they've had a lot of updates. Uh, but yeah, once you get once you get up there and you go through all your attributes of, of your all the stuff that you have earned throughout the, the mission and whatnot, then you go back to the to the ship and you can go back through, you can see everything that you earned and whatnot and you know, talk with whoever you need to interact with and, and do all that stuff. Um, definitely a fun game and going through fighting the bugs. I really enjoyed that. Uh, some of the downfall of the game that I've really seen, um, is uh, points of, of interest in there, POIs, that either have been bugged or they're just not working correctly. And again, this is a newer game. So I'm hoping that as these updates go, that it does fix that and correct everything with it. So uh, again, the movement is very, is, is, is clunky at times. Uh, I didn't have this problem until recently I tried to play the other day, and I couldn't get in. Uh, I know that this was a big issue with Tarkov and their, their queuing uh, in the lobbies. As I couldn't even get into the game to play or even get to my character or even look at anything um, because there were so many people playing. But as I've read, there are a lot of people that are not, uh, not signing out or you know closing out the game when they're not playing. And I guess this is causing a lot of issues for the people trying to get into the servers or into the just the gameplay of that 
while these, and I don't understand how this is, but I have seen a lot of the servers are taking heat because they're not able to support the amount of people that are playing this game. Uh, this game, I guess, and I, I never played Helldivers 1, but there was a lot of following with this game. And I can understand why. Uh, again, Starship Troopers, huge, huge fan when it comes to that movie of just fighting bugs and the chaos with that and just kind of how you can run a gun the entire time and kill these bugs. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And I, I see, you know, the, the outcry for it and how it can be such a big, a big game. Um, but the fact that these servers cannot keep up with the demand of what everybody is wanting is an issue. Um, but I don't think that's going to cause, you know, anything to change within the game. That may, th that may be something that just you have to deal with. I know they've had to deal with in Tarkov, which has been in beta for like seven years. Um, but this game is going to have to probably continue with that once they upgrade the servers and see the, the demand for this is going to probably more than likely grow. Um, so that's one thing that, that did you know get frustrating because I think I had to wait about 10 minutes just to even get into the game with loading and everything else. Um, but... After that, you know, got in, everything was fine. Um, again, the controls are a little bit weird, but again, that's probably just my, that's, that's probably more on me because I play Warzone. Um, you know, that, and that is what it is. You know, games change, controls change. That's just the nature of the beast when it comes to um, playing video games. So it's not, not a huge deal. Um, Storyline so far seems, seems smooth. Um, you can easily just, Ignore the storyline and just go and kill bugs and go go to each planet. Ignore what's going on. Uh, I did go into a couple planets and play with other people, and it is tough if you're playing with random people, just like any other VR game or any type of game you're going in and playing with random people. Uh, you have an open chat you can have. I didn't have any audio with anybody of any kind, so I didn't hear anything. I do it as an option. But I didn't have it, and it did get difficult. We just pretty much got our ass handed to us. Had a hard time getting through everything. Um, we did end up getting the missions done, extracting the samples and stuff that we had to um, in these in this planet. But I ended up missing the exfil, so I missed out on a lot of XP at that point too. Because once one one person exfils, the get the the mission ends. So it's not like again DMZ. One person expels, the other game continues for the other player that did not expel. It doesn't work that way. Once one person expels, it's done. Um, regardless of where you're at, what you're doing, if you're trying to give back an expel or if you have something that you you know, need to complete the mission, it doesn't matter. Uh, it ends right there as soon as somebody calls expel. So even if somebody wanted to go in and just be an absolute jerk about the game, calling an expel sooner than anybody should, it ruins the game for everybody else. So that's one thing I think that may need to change with that so they can call in multiple extracts uh, so that the, the players that are doing it do have the chance to finish what they're doing or get the full uh, the full aspect of the entire mission but again there is a timer as well so you have a certain amount of time I think it's about 45 minutes it starts out with uh, that you have and that 45 minutes can go really quick uh, once you start fighting bugs and everything else and going through everything it can go really really quick because uh, I get I get lost in just fighting bugs. Like I've said, this game is is easy to lose yourself in and lose a lot of hours in. Uh, it can be a technical game if you want to get in the aspect of you know updating everything you have, you know diving deep into it. I know a lot of people are enjoying it just for the sheer fact of how the fighting aspect is, and also other people are enjoying it just for how uh, some of them some of the in depth stuff is. But I will uh, I will say that this is the game that I will probably end up playing. A little bit more, but unless some of the things change that I talked about, like the Xville and a couple other things, I, I may not dive too deep into it unless Sig gets into it. I've tried to get him to do it, but of course he's got his Skull and Bones that is coming out, or it's already came out. That's one game that he's been waiting for, so he's invested in that one. Um, so hopefully once everything kind of dies down with that one or he loses you know, his peak interest in that one, Maybe I can drag him over and start playing Helldivers 2. Uh, but it is a game that I, I will say you will enjoy if you enjoy the 
BR style or if you enjoy just uh, shoot 'em up core style game. Uh, it is it is one of those games that I hope has the potential to increase and get and get better as it goes. Um, this is something that with this with the way that this game is made I don't know if it's it's not gonna be I'm not gonna say the future of how anything is going to be. Uh, I do think that this is a baseline for how this game is going to get better because there's nothing but uh, up from there. I don't see anything downfall wise. I haven't read too many negative comments about it or too many negative articles about it. Um, just what I've talked about. Again, servers are, need to be servers need to be upgraded. Um, I I wish that there would just be some some movement critiques, but you know that's just nitpicking. Um, if you're really going to get down to it now, again, I'm sure there's other people that could really tear this game apart and say how bad everything is about it. But I'm pretty simple when it comes to games. If you can if you can gather my interest in something and keep me invested for an hour, then you know you're going to have you're going to have me, especially if there's enough to just run around and and shoot stuff. So that's that's what I'll I'll invest my time in. Um, I don't really get too much into you know skins and stuff like that. Uh, but if if you give me a cool looking character, the cape is kind of cool as well. Uh, but if you can change some things throughout it, that's a, something that I will that I will stick with. Um, but again, I, I think this game has potential to really do well. Uh, I do think that this game is at a a low point right now, but as it, it will it will start to go up only if the developers listen to the consumers. This is one where they really have to listen to the consumers to see what to change, and then they will have success just as they did with Helldivers One. Um, again, check it out, Helldivers Two. Definitely one that's, in my opinion, going to go fairly far in the. Uh, in the video game world and hopefully gets nothing but good reviews moving forward. Uh, get, just make some of the changes and see what happens. Um, but again, this is just my opinion on all this one. I know it's a quick review. Um, it's only been out for maybe less than two weeks. I wanted to try and get as, as much into it as I could, but you know, yeah, me working full time, you know, I don't get to do too much time on them. But let me know if you agree, disagree, completely hate everything I said. Um, I'm just an avid player. I'm not. I'm not an expert by any means. I like to just talk about them, um, and I'm sure that a lot of things that I said people aren't going to agree with. And maybe one or two things you will agree with. That's perfectly fine. Again, if you want to come on, we'll talk about stuff. I will gladly debate, talk about, or anything else uh, when it comes to this game or any other game. You know, as long as I have knowledge on it, <laughs> I'm down for it. Uh, same with Sig. Sig will more likely have a more vast knowledge on any of the other games that we talk about, that we play, or anything else. Because I know, like I said, he's got skull and bones that he's that he's really getting into right now. Um, again, but we always have our Thursday nights we play Warzone. I don't know if, then every other time there's there's times we play. We played on Tuesday this past week as well. So there's times we'll jump on as much as we can. Uh, we're trying to set up game nights. At the same time, to where we can have you know more involved with the community, get everybody involved, doing something together, uh, and just have fun because that's basically the only reason we do this podcast. We do it for you guys to enjoy, uh, listen to us talk about completely random stuff that we have no idea what we're talking about at times, as you can tell, um, or just completely give each other shit the entire time we're talking and argue because all we are at the end of the day, uh, two military vets that are dads and decided to do a podcast to talk about anything and everything under the sun and just pretty much shoot the shit so give us something to do um, at the end of the day and the fact that anybody's taking the time to listen to our podcast enjoy what we're doing uh, give us feedback argue with us or anything else because the internet is going to have nothing nothing but trolls at times but again there's some positivity, positivity that comes out from it but uh, yeah be sure to check out uh Check out the website, Two Guys One Gamepad, for all the merch. If you guys want T-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, I mean, there's anything and everything. And there's any ideas of what you guys want, let us know. Cause we can pretty much have anything made or get anything made. Um, Sig and I play every Thursday night. Uh, typically, Warzone. If I can suck him into Helldivers Two, or if I get sucked into Skull and Bones, you may see a different game. 
Uh, again, anybody that's listening to this wants to be on the podcast, reach out to us, let us know. You can get a hold of us through Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, anything really. Everything is pretty much two guys on GamePad. Uh, I think Twitter is, or X, or what you want to call it, is two GamePad on there. Um, but yeah, reach out to us, let us know what you guys think. And uh, yeah. I think I got anything else. I think I've rambled for enough. Got anything else? But yeah. Until the next one. Bye, bitch.